Right, the transfer window is finally closed. Bayern Munich went out then to Mario Goethe. Barcelona spent 50 odd million on Neymar. Real Madrid smashed the world transfer record on Gareth Bale, 86 million. And we did it all summer until the last minute and spent an inflated 27.5 million on Fellaini. Uh, boys, what is going on? You tell me. It was just a, yesterday, the transfer deadline day was a complete farce. What went on with Herrera, no one seems to know. There were stories about imposters and all sorts of shenanigans. And then even after that, we still managed to make a, a bit of a bit of a boo-boo with um, Contral going for him at the, the last minute and failing. It was all a bit of a disaster, to be honest. I feel I just feel disappointed and a bit let down by the football club, to be honest. Um, I mean, the guys in suits there have not helped David Moyes at all this summer. Um, I think Ed Woodward's been a shambles. Um, I think the clubs that did so professionally with players... We're setting targets and we're dithering, dillying and dallying and not meeting fees. And fair enough, we don't want to get our pants pulled down over price tags, but we need to just make our mind up, go for a player and stick to it. And um, we could have got Fellaini. Now, if we got Fellaini at the beginning of the summer, got Fellaini in, and then we targeted, let's say, Fabregas or who have you, and we didn't get them. Fair enough, we didn't get them. We've got Fellaini there. Our squad, in my opinion, is complete. Um, maybe a left back would have done it for us, but I think. All in all, I'm happy with that squad. I believe we can win the league. The problem for me has been the chief executive. They've been atrocious all summer. They've been just inadequate. You, you, you've got... We ha you are forgetting we have signed that deal with Aeroflot and we've got a new tyre yeah, sponsor. They're, so. they're, they're all good yeah, at that, bringing in the money from the sponsors, but it's, it's absolutely shocking. Um, you got you, you got them lawyers turning up that were involved in the Martinez deal, trying to get in on United's deal. They're having a laugh if they think we're going to pay them any money. We don't even pay for players at the moment. Um, it's a joke. Um, I think the Fellaini price tag, I think, is about $2.5 million over the top. So I don't think we've been mugged off that much. Um, I think in this day and age, when you've got the likes of Henderson going for $20 million and other people like that, $27.5 million for Fellaini, who's a key figure for Belgium. He's, he's well experienced in Premier League. I think it's a, it's a decent signing. But all in all, Ed Woodward and Cole need to sort it out ASAP. Justin, do you agree? Where does the blame lie for all this? Yeah, I have to agree with Adam. I don't blame David Moyes. I don't think it's anything to do with him, really. I think he's probably said he's identified his targets and let them get on with it. But I think Woodward has got a lot of questions to answer. I mean, like Adam said, if we'd have got Fellaini in early, then I don't think there'd have been an issue. But we've gone for Thiago, we've gone for Fabregas, we've gone for Herrera. Then at the 11th hour, we're going for Contral. And it's, it's so public and we're not getting these players. And it's all just embarrassing. I've had so many messages of other fan, fans of other club laughing at us because of the way we've gone about our business. It's, it's, you know, it, it's a bit of a joke. And these are the sort of things that you take the McCart, well, we used to take the McCart teams like City for. And now that's exactly what we're doing. We're, we're chasing players we can't get. We're doing it publicly. We're haggling over prices. Why we didn't meet Herrera's get-out clause or buyout clause, sorry, as soon as we went for him? I don't know. We dithered and then we didn't end up getting him. And then, you know, now we, we, we paid, like Adam said, we paid over what we needed to pay for Fellaini. What went on with Baines, I don't know. Surely Moyes must have known what, 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 what it would have took to get Baines, but we didn't, we didn't get that. Not that I wanted him, but still. It's just been a, a, a summer of, of one debacle after another. And I think Woodward really couldn't have done a worse job if he'd have tried. He's, just, he's made us almost a laughing stock. So we want, to get, we want to be behind David Moyes. He's a new manager. We want him to do as well as he can. And you say uh, Woodward is to blame. Um, but... Moyes is sort of a known transfer dither if you talk to Everton fans. Well, I mean, what different. happened with people like Thiago? I don't think... But the thing is, Moyes isn't involved in the negotiations. Moyes has been involved mm. in the first team. He hasn't left the first team to travel over to Spain to negotiate a deal for Thiago. He hasn't left the first team to, yeah. to try and negotiate yeah. a deal for Herrera. Hey, but, so should he, should he be doing that? I'm, you want, I'm, sorry? Should he be doing that? You no, hear no, some players come out and they say, do you know what, I came to this club because the manager showed he wanted me. I, I know what you're saying. I mean, with Ertzel, I think the, the Wenger factor was a big, a, big, um, a big part of him going there. He said that Wenger really sold the club to him and, and that was why he decided to go. But I think that in the past, I think David, David Gills took care of transfers and that's what Woodward should be doing. Ferguson used to identify the transfers. David Gill used to get them signed. He even dealt with the contracts of players that we, we already had. So I don't see why Moyes should come in and then have to sort of negotiate on these deals. He should have been able to say, these are the players I want. You say we've got the money to get them. Go out there and get them for me. And why that's not happened is, is beyond me. OK, well, uh, Adam, Justin just mentioned David Gill. Mm. Um, him and Fergie had an incredible relationship, it seemed, at getting players. Yeah. Now, surely they didn't just leave and go, right, that's our job done. Wouldn't they have left some sort of, I mean, when you leave a job, you leave a bit of a handover for the next person coming in. Would they not have said to David Moyes, David Woodward, look, you know, obviously you're going to be in charge now, but we could do with a midfielder. I think These are the players we've been looking at. Would they not have left some information? They uh, wouldn't have just gone, right, boys, crack on with it. 
I'm not sure. I mean, Sir Alex Ferguson didn't sign a central midfielder for a while now, has he? So, I mean, that that error in the squad, that hole in the squad has been left ultimately by Sir Alex Ferguson. So, these fans getting on David Moyes' back over, over this is, is, is ridiculous, in my opinion. I think we we need to stand we by David We want to be on back, Moyes. I see what you're saying. Um, not not on Fergie's back as such, but Fergie has left that hole. Um, I mean, for years we've had we've had United fans saying we ha- we haven't we haven't signed a central midfielder, um, and now oh David Moyes has come in, he's signed Fellaini, but oh, let's get on his back because you know we haven't signed this this marquee signing. I think you got some fans really do my head in at times. I mean, if we you got Arsenal fans, you just look at this for as an, for an example. Arsenal have needed to strengthen their squad all summer. Um, they signed Ozil. A player in a position where they've got, they, they've already got very good players in. Fair enough, is an improvement. But all of a sudden now, Arsenal fans went to bed yesterday thinking they're in a great position for a title. Now they haven't improved their squad that much. They have bought one player for 45 million, and all of a sudden everything's rosy. And I think a lot of United fans just expect that to happen. They want us to go out and spend 50 million. If we went out and spent 50 million on another striker. They'd probably all be going to sleep last night happy. It's stupid. You need to spend money sensibly. The thing that has really got on my nerves is how we have gone about our business this summer. It's been an absolute joke. Um, and something really needs to be done. In regards to David Gill, I think maybe if he stayed for maybe till January, gave Ed Woodward a bit of a bedding in period, then maybe, you know, it had helped. But I think Ed Woodward, it's, he should. He applied for the job. He should be ready for the job. And if he can't do it, you need to just do one, to be fair. Guys, for your Manchester United updates, gossips and transfer news, subscribe. It's absolutely free, so there's no excuse not to do it. It's literally free. Just click that button. That's all it takes. You should have done it by now. You could have done it whilst I was talking. Click it now. Have you done it? Good. Your life's been improved. Nice.